What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video and today in this video, this is gonna be a comment trading kind of video and I'll try to reply your questions from the comment section and I wish you all a very happy new year. So let's start by taking the first question that is on the Redmi K20 Pro. So let me actually talk about it a little bit because a lot of you guys may ask this question on this particular device that how to actually flash it. Well, I have the flashing guide right there in the description. You can just follow it. But let me tell you that in the guide, may, I may have talked about the DFE and stuff, but in Android 14, at least for the Redmi K20 Pro, it doesn't support the decryption on recovery side itself. So you have to keep that in mind and you have to go encrypted way. Otherwise, even if you go decrypted way, it will not boot your TGRP or Orange Fox recovery. So that is how the situation is. And as of right now, yes, you have to use a Orange Fox recovery that you can always get on the descriptions of the Redmi K20 Pro videos. And talking about the Android 13 and Android 14 stuff, it is a custom ROM guys. So if you are flashing a custom ROM, you need to actually clean flash if you are switching from Android 13 to Android 14. There is no way as of right now to dirty flash Android 14 on top of Android 13. So that will simply not work. It may actually not boot the device. So that is why I recommend a clean flash if you're switching from Android 13 to Android 14 custom ROM. Let's take the next question which says, is Redmi Note 10 Pro will receive HyperOS update? HyperOS is actually rolling out with different devices. I think it is right now rolling out for the Poco F5 in India. And I would say yes, HyperOS I think will be coming, but for Redmi Note 10 Pro to officially get HyperOS, I think it will take even like six more months or maybe more than that. And even after that, it may be just on top of Android 13, not even on top of Android 14, I don't think so. The next one is Evolution X versus Rising OS, which is better in K20 Pro. Again, depending on your personal preference, guys, you can choose whichever you like. But I personally will prefer Evolution X because of consistent updates. I will choose Evolution X personally, but you can definitely go with Rising OS as well. That's a really great option as well. I have one more question here which says which is best stable custom ROM for the Redmi Note 10 Pro Android 14. Well, if you are looking at the Android 40 ROMs, there are a couple of ROMs like the DXY Project Matrix, etc. There is the Pixel OS as well for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I would suggest the Pixel OS personally because it is much more a uh, lighter kind of experience. There are basic features of Android 14, but the overall experience of the Pixel OS is always more towards a pixel so it will have really good stability and it doesn't have really huge amount of customization so there won't be huge amount of bugs so that's why i would suggest for the redmi note 10 pro go for pixel os if you are looking for android 14 rom for the redmi note 10 pro one more question is on the how to flash custom rom on poco f5 guide he says hi very good explanation thank you very much you're welcome and he's asking is ota update possible in custom roms and should i must a root in custom ROMs, you don't really need to root right now. You get basically all the features even without rooting. Let me actually talk about this OT update kind of thing. Like in custom ROMs, you always get OT updates, but even the system updater will download the full ROM. Yes, you can use system updater if you want to or OT updates if you want to, but I personally do it with a manual way. So that is how I use it. Otherwise, you can just go with any of the methods. I personally will recommend the manual flashing method. Next one is on the Gcam crashing on Poco F5 video and he says how to get more config that is compatible on Poco F5 when I import another config keeps crashing. If it keeps crashing you have to just import it with one working config but let me actually open the LMC Liga camera. So this is the Liga camera I have opened you just have to tap right here between this shutter button and the photos kind of button the gallery button you have to just tap here. Once you do that, you will get this kind of pop-up and right here you have to click on import quickly. Otherwise, your camera will force close. Just import one XML right there very quickly. Once you see that is working, you can just import another one and just try them config you are actually willing to use. I know it's an annoying thing for the Poco F5 that if you open Gcam for the first time, it will actually force close within a few seconds, whatever you do. So yeah, you have to do it quick, otherwise it will force close again. And on this how to flash hyper OS Redmi Note 10 Pro video, it says everything is working. Thank you. And you are welcome that you get everything is working after seeing this video. And we have this next question. It says type C Samsung EKG wired headphones or wired earphones not detected. Please give me a solution for it on the Poco F5's Evolution X video, I think. So this type C kind of question is <laughs> Samsung's EKG headphone. I don't have them, so I can't really test it. But I've seen a video on from B-Bomb that actually said this Samsung's AKG kind of headphones 
actually do not work in most devices with that type c kind of port so that is how it is the wired samsung akg headphones if you have them just try it on a different like other device than samsung see if it actually works for you i'm not really sure because i don't have that simply so i cannot test that next question says just flash this rom on the previous android 14 build do you have steps for dirty flashing by any chance well dirty flashing is always simple you just download the full rom and just boot to your tw recovery enter your pin if it's encrypted whichever is your lock screen pin once you do that just go to install and just select the rom and swipe to confirm flash and that's how you can flash a rom if you are willing to dirty flash yes in most cases you do not even need to wipe anything you do not need to like format data or anything you do not need to wipe anything you can just simply flash it and just reboot to system so that is how you dirty flash the next question is on the redmi note 10 pro's front camera diet video so yeah this is a huge issue and people are still facing it this comment is from four days ago so this is bad guys and i feel bad for the people who are having these issues because i even had it so this comment actually says i have a redmi note 10 pro max and i'm facing the same problem for the last year but it is getting worse because now my back camera is beginning to fail too and it says the camera app takes a photo then closes unexpectedly and the photos are saving all at a lower resolution so this is a huge issue that like redmi note 10 pro devices has and i'm just surprised to see that even on the redmi note 10 pro max this issue is appearing so this is just straight up bad because if you do not <laughs> reball the cpu if you start having those problems it will actually keep breaking some or the other stuff i've seen people commenting that after they got the front camera dying on their redmi note 10 pros later on they found out even the speaker stops working after a week or so so yeah this is really really bad and i hope xiaomi actually does something but they won't do anything this is just like bad situation and brands should not actually get away with these things in my personal opinion let me know in the comments what you guys think next question is on the how to flash hyperos on the redmi note 10 pro video if i install it would my files be deleted well if you are installing a custom rom or ported rom is also a custom rom if you're installing that you have to actually format the data and that will delete the files but that's very normal if you are worried about your files getting deleted do not just go get into this custom rom world because something wrong may happen and you may have to format your data anytime if you can't actually keep a backup of your device all the time you should not actually get into a custom rom because you cannot blame anyone even if your files get deleted or even if your device gets stuck in a boot loop or something like that and that i said for the portrait roms not the normal custom ROMs, normal custom ROMs will work perfectly fine. Most of the time, it will actually not delete your files if you are just updating it. If you are clean flashing, of course, it may actually wipe all the files in your storage. The next question is on the Redmi Note 10 Pro's front camera stopped video. And this guy says, I'm facing same issue since 2-3 months. I really love MI, but now I'm very disappointed. I never gonna purchase any kind of me product if this is your experience of course i feel you when this problem actually happened to me the front camera dying on the redmi note 10 pro i was actually so pissed and because they were asking in the service center i have to pay about 10,000 plus to actually get the motherboard replaced and i was pretty sure even if i replace the motherboard the issue will appear after one or one and a half year so that's why i did not replace my motherboard and i can totally agree on that decision you may definitely try other brands but in this particular aspect, I have to look at other like brands and also with other brands, there are a couple of issues here and there. But of course, Xiaomi did not respond at all in this particular issue and they should have actually done something to the people or for the people who were actually facing the issues because OnePlus, the screen dying issues, they have actually figured it out and they have been actually replacing the screens in warranty, I think. So these kind of steps actually help the brand's value but xiaomi did not actually care at all for the customers so definitely that's a bummer now this question is on the dirt face rom on the redmi k20 pro this guy says how to revert back to legacy rom please help pro okay so if you're using android 14 roms on the redmi k20 pro let me tell you all the android 14 roms actually need a dynamic partition recovery otherwise it may not work for your device and for the k20 pro it's a hassle because it is a old device and it is on legacy partition totally which is a simple partition not a b dynamic kind of thing but android 14 needs a dynamic partition otherwise it won't work so that's why you need a dynamic partition recovery itself for the redmi k20 pro and if you're trying to switch to legacy kind of roms or android 13 legacy roms then definitely i can tell that you can actually flash a 
legacy kind of recovery and just format the data your data will be automatically converted to legacy kind of partition then you can just flash any android 13 rom that will work this is a really interesting point that this guy said on the poco f5 versus redmi k20 pro camera comparison video i did one guy commented just sold my poco f5 to go back to my daily driver k20 pro will now install evo x thanks brother this is a issue for the poco a5 that i have faced a lot if you're someone who loves your video stabilization or camera kind of quality i would say poco a5 is not a device for you because in terms of video it is even bad even when you compare it to the redmi k20 pro that is just like weird there are weird artifacts on the sides or the corners of the video if you shoot a video on the poco a5 you might have noticed that i don't know what happens with xiaomi's optimizations or what happened to their like good optimizations that we get on the k20 pro it is like a really stable video when you shoot a video on the redmi k20 pro even on 4k 60 fps and like even on 10 to 60 fps i would say the like stabilization and all and the optimization of the overall frame is nowhere comparable to the redmi k20 pro with the poco a5 because there is simply no comparison when the optimization is this bad which is there in the poco a5 so yes i can feel you if you are someone who loves your camera's video quality or you need video output or something like that definitely the k20 pro is still a much more superior device when you compare it to the poco a5 now on this evolution x rom update video on the poco a5 this is an old video but this guy is asking bro installing this rom makes your warranty void well this is a question that you might need to know that xiaomi actually provides a wonky kind of warranty situation for the unlocked bootloader stuff they actually do not care that if you have installed custom rom or not if you have unlocked your bootloader you may still get warranty if you are in miui because i have tried that i got warranty without any problems but if you have unlocked your bootloader and then bricked your device somehow they will not claim it under warranty so even if you have unlocked bootloader and flashed custom rom on it and if your device is working fine then definitely you can claim warranty anyhow and you can just flash miui with fast root method whenever you are going to the service center even when you have unlocked bootloader they will actually provide you the warranty you don't need to worry about it so thank you so much for watching this video guys these were all the questions that i took from you guys you can also hit me up with more questions in the comments and i'll try to make these kind of videos in future let me in the comments what you guys think about these kind of videos Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.